Hello, my name is Darcia, and today I am going to show you how I put on my makeup with only one hand. And what's more, it's not my dominant hand. So I had shoulder surgery. I had my rotator cuff repaired. If you would like to see how you can learn to do your makeup with one hand, then just keep watching. You are not to lift any weight with your uh, surgery hand, but this is not, this weighs a couple of grams. So what I do, I'm gonna stand up, I just hold it in my hand, Oop, not like that. I hold it in my hand and uh, then I can just keep it steady. And then I just uh, take my brush through the makeup and get your makeup onto the brush. I'm sure there's a lot of ways to do it. Just gonna put a little bronzer on, make it look like I haven't been inside for three weeks. I'm not really putting pressure, I'm just kind of using it. It's in my sling, I'm just kind of holding it there so it doesn't go anywhere. And then I'm just kind of wiggling my makeup brush into it, um, doing almost all the work with my left hand. And then I just bring up to my hairline, just like that. I'm gonna scoot my hat just a little bit back on my head because I don't really want to get my makeup on my hat. Next, I'm gonna do some blush. Place it in my hand, and I just kind of, um, just so you don't do any work with your right hand, I'm just kind of using this as like a, a tabletop in a way that kind of, kind of holds it without uh, putting any pressure on this surgery arm. Brush, and I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of the product. And I just kind of tap it on. I don't really wanna draw it up and make like a big line. So I'm gonna use a just a highlighting stick, um, easy to take off with my left hand. In fact, I'll show you. All right, so just, just a little bit in the inside corners of my eyes, a little bit on the outside corner of my eyes. I'm blending the edges by tapping. So powder next. Same thing as before because I have it in a compact and I'm just gonna place it in my hand um, again like that, popping it open, and then just kind of holding it like this. And take my brush, just pull up a little bit of this powder. So I just kind of like wiggle it in, make sure because the creases in my eyes are deeper, make sure it gets it in there. It's always, always good, always, to start with a light uh, first coat and then go darker as you need kind of wiped off most of the product before I started and so into into the bottle so there's not a whole lot left on here so at this point I'm gonna bring it in a little bit toward the center of my face I have my hand braced on the counter because I feel like my non-dominant hand is not as steady I've noticed steady issues like I'm afraid I can't count on it if I needed to count on it it would not be there for me it would fail me. Okay, what I'm doing now is I just put a little bit more product on the brush and we'll do the same thing to my other eyebrow. And eyebrows, eyes, even sides of your lips are not symmetrical. We can get them close. I think they're fine. I use a liquid eyeshadow. And so I'm doing the same thing. Um, I used my right, I was using my right hand to unscrew it, but you could just do it this way also. The same way we just did the eyebrows. So I'm gonna just put this in the inside of my eye and not be real careful because I don't really care at this point. We're gonna blend it out. So I'm just taking a big like fluffy brush. This is whatever eyeshadow brush you like to use. Is it blended? Do you see any harsh edges? Um, do you see where the makeup automat, I mean, just like really um, stops? You don't wanna see that. You want it to be a gradient. So next, I'm gonna go in with just a barely deeper color. I'm just kind of painting this along like a, like a, what would you say, like a crayon. Just crayon it on. That kind of helps me in a way, since I'm using my left hand and it doesn't feel real intuitive to go this way. You can see I'm kind of holding it what I have in my hand is my brush on the other hand. 
I want to control what they look like. That's kind of what makeup is. It's a little bit of control. You have control issues, maybe not issues. Maybe it's fine. Just put a little makeup on. We're gonna go in with a little bit deeper color. It's such a dark color, and since we're gonna blend it out, I, I didn't wanna just smear it on like we did last time with the color. Blend it in, push it into my skin, and smooth out any rough edges that are there. I go back and forth, and it, it's like you're mopping the floor. Just mop the floor, push it in, get put, take it, make it go where you want it to go, and don't stop until you feel like it's really blended. That's it, just like that. I'm gonna use a black liquid liner because I love liquid liner. I like to use a fine point, um, a brush. I, I would dip it in and just fine point on, but with my left hand, it's hard. It is not easy. So this is what I do and I'll show you uh, to make it just a little easier. I'm just taking the actual tip and just touching it to the edge of where um, my eyelashes are. And we can go over this again later. This is just to put down a little bit of color. I love putting the liner as far down as I can into my eye. I'm going to make the outer edge a little bit more pronounced. And I'm taking this, I'm making sure there's product. I'm taking this like into almost like I'm, it's almost like I'm going onto the white of my eye. Uh, I'm using a glue that is black because that's the color of my eyelashes and the color of my, um, you saw I kind of just removed the, the lid with my hand because I'm holding them with this hand. We don't want a lot. We want a thin line so just kind of so I have a little bit of glue now on both of these eyelashes and let's put these on so I kind of look down and kind of place them as close to my lash line as I can and I'm just laying it right down on top of where I put my eyeliner then I'm gonna kind of just pinch it like you could your own natural eyelashes if you were blessed with lovely long curled eyelashes. Now let's do the other side. Every spot along that uh, band of eyelash is going to adhere to your skin. Look at that. All right, so last, let's put some lipstick on. Okay, let's just throw this on. I start with my top lip all the time first. All done, just kidding. Now you can see my face, it is all done. Thank you for watching my video and I will see you in another one in the future. Goodbye.